ladies and gentlemen, uh, Trackstar Promotions and the Norfolk Arena very proudly once again present the 2013 Briska Formula One Stock Car Championship of the World. We have a green flag and it's 2013 Briska Formula 1 Stock Car World Championship time and it starts with chaos down here on the home straight. A big crash and Sorda's come out. Sorda goes out down here with Josh Pelkey in the USA 12 car. The two of them uh, still trying to pull themselves apart but it's uh, not going to happen. Meanwhile, Ferris did with a bumper down there on 84. Tom Harris battling over the early places but it's Ryan Harrison who leads as Fairhouse goes out uh, down here in front of us as well. So the uh, defending world champions got rejoiced in front of the traffic there and Sorda still desperately trying to get his way out of Josh Pelkey uh, in the number 12 machine. And we're keeping an eye on that situation down here on uh, the home straight. And I think we need Wave Yellows, Mr. Starter. Wave Yellows on the raceway. Hines in uh, with the bumper there, moving wide, 84 Tom Harris. But I don't think that one will count. The Waving Yellows out there on circuit. And uh, we have our first caution of the race. And it's going to be Sorda and Josh Pelkey out of the running down here on the home straight uh, with uh, the first major incident of this 2013 World Championship. Ryan Harrison leads then as we come under our first caution of the race. Get away with that car down there. Chris Clare may be able to restart that one. Cars 
Hamza managing to get uh, inside it, whatever the uh, case may be there. Scriven uh, spinning out down in that turn as well, but uh, thankfully that doesn't cause too much chaos uh, for the drivers. It's Tom Harris then who leads the way still in the 2013 World Final here at the Norfolk Arena. Bumper time uh, further down, it's Wayman who gets uh, push line that time and gets uh, safely around the outside of uh, Clare. Randall getting squeezed out by the traffic uh, as well, but on we go with 84. Tom Harris still heading the field in this year's World Championship. Action coming now as uh, Fairhurst has got some intent there. On the back of uh, age 61, Morris, and it's Dowson who feels the worst of it. So Dowson uh, scraping the plating uh, and uh, in trouble. Further through, still 84, Tom Harris coming through and do all the rejoining Dowson there, Clobbers 215, Jeff Nichols. Nichols uh, races on though, undisturbed in this one. Tom Harris just stretching away from the men at the front of the field in this year's World Championship event here at the Norfolk Arena. 197 Harrison is still there in second place. There's a little bit of backmarking traffic before we find 55 Craig Finnegan in third spot. So that's how we see them at the current time. The leaders set safely by the uh, touring 21 Mark Gill back there. And it seems that nothing uh, that happens causes a problem. We are halfway next time, Mr. Starter. Halfway next time round. then through he goes 84 Tom Harris still leading the field at the halfway point of this year's world championship here at the North Arena once again gets the run of the back marking traffic there Randall down the back straight in on the back of H22 there Lou Wilbesh spins out safely in front of the leader and it seems that nothing can stop him Then Tom Harris, he still leads the way in this year's World Championship. 197, the pole man, Ryan Harrison, he still goes there in second spot. 55, Finnegan, uh, if anything, though, starting uh, to show signs of reeling him in. And indeed, that gap is certainly coming down between second and third place uh, in this event. to Randall, then traffic uh, ahead now of 197 Harrison and 55 Finnegan closing uh, all the time and uh, yeah the traffic certainly not coming at the right point there oh Finnegan sees his moment, I didn't uh, see him coming from that far back but in with the bumper just gently moves wide 197 Harrison he's through to second so Finnegan up to second place in this one down to third for Harrison in 197 and Randall uh, still running behind them in the 172 machine he's of course uh, a lap down from uh, various incidents he's been involved with earlier on in this race Tom Harris though a long way clear now of our uh, second and third place challenges in this one 84 Tom Harris uh, comes uh, back around completing uh, a, another lap in this one and it's uh, five to run next time Mr. start with five to run next time round Oh, and Randall gets put in very hard down there. Smoke coming from the car. And uh, just check and see uh, if all is well down there. Meanwhile, uh, Harris goes past that five-lap marker. And Randall thankfully moving that car forward. So all is well down there. And we can keep uh, the race running uh, into these uh, final stages. Harris still uh, a long way clear there. And, uh, oh, H77 Wesley Shap once again in the walls down there collecting uh, a spinning car but he's uh, still uh, managing to keep running in this one nonetheless. Tom Harris though looking uh, well and truly in charge of this event now. The laps are ticking away for him and uh, absolutely no sign of danger from behind and a good uh, clear run of track ahead of him now in these closing stages. So back through he comes, 84, Tom Harris, uh, victory now in sight in this 2013 World Championship. 55, Finnegan uh, is uh, clear just about now in that second place, he's going to have to dig deep for Ryan Harrison if he wants to try and take this back on the last bend. 
so last lap time in the 2013 World Championship 84 Tom Harris it is making his way uh, down through the final lap nothing uh, is seemingly going to trouble him uh, and it's going to be a race victory the double check has held the up and it's victory in the 2013 World Championship Tom Harris uh, the new uh, world champion is 55 Finnegan who comes across the line in second uh, and third to 197 Ryan Harrison uh, a fantastic uh, victory then for Tom Harris uh, and there it is your 2013 Championship of the World